everyone, my name is Eva Lupine. Welcome back to my channel and today I have another video for you all. Today we are going to be doing another King Crate unboxing. Now a couple months ago I did another review for King Crate, specifically going over their couples box. Now today we are going to be doing a review of their single ladies box. Now I have full details about King Crate and how it works and everything like that in the previous video I did, so if you want to know more about the service from that perspective, please go check out that video. For the sake of this review, basically what you need to know is that King Crate is a monthly subscription box service that sends BDSM and sexuality themed goodies to your door. There is a single ladies box option and there are couples options for people of various gender combinations. However, the singles box is for female bodied people specifically. Despite the fact they have a two male bodied couple box, they don't have a single males box. Don't know why that is exactly, but today we are gonna be doing the single ladies box. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is I have not seen anything in this box before. I have only basically removed the outer packaging so that way not everybody can see my shipping address. But besides that, this is going to be a totally, completely honest first impression slash review. I am not being sponsored. There are no affiliate links or codes, anything like that. They simply sent me this box in exchange for a review. So let's go ahead and get into it. But I do generally find that the packaging for this is pretty nice. So that is not something that I would normally have as a concern. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. Okay, let's look at the handbook here. So one thing that you'll get in the Kink Crate boxes that I actually really appreciate about this is they give you a handbook that gives you the theme of the box, which today is fire and ice. And then there is a little guide on the inside. They'll have little things like word searches and little photos and games you can play. There's things about, uh, you know, the authors and there might even be like some erotica in here. They will also give you um, the information about the items inside and suggested things you can do with the items. So I am going to put this away for now because I don't want to spoil everything that is in this box. We're just gonna go ahead and like give first impressions of everything as it comes out. Okay, so the first thing that I see is like, I don't know if this is safe for YouTube. Um, it is like very interesting body types of women and other people that is gift wrapped. This kind of reminds me of like, what you would get for like a cheesy bachelorette or bachelor party like to try and be funny it like reminds me of those shirts that you see at hallmark that have like the the old lady who always has like a wine glass with her that is like complaining about something and it's like relatable to the like 55 plus crowd i guess um i don't really necessarily see what this has to do with the theme fire and ice but i guess at the time i'm getting this it is sort of around like a gift giving holiday season so maybe it has something to do with that but like for me personally and especially being like an ace person who is like kind of just meh about other people's bodies that is not going to be something that like i am going to want to see especially you know with like the friends I have, like there's never gonna be somebody I'm gonna be like, this is gonna be a good idea to like wrap a present in, but that's just my own personal opinion. All right, now there is, <laughs> there is another gift wrap that I find a lot funnier. And this is like a BDSM Santa gift wrap. Now I'm filming this and it's like early December. You guys aren't gonna see this until like after Christmas, but there's like a BDSM Santa thing, which for me is like way more usable because there's no like explicit genitals. It's it's funny, it's, it's still like promoting diverse body types, but it's not like a kind of like body horror grotesque like the other one kind of was, and I don't even feel comfortable showing that really on YouTube, so. All right, ooh, okay, I am, a, I am feeling better about this box now. So this is a toy bag guide to hot wax and temperature play. For those of you who don't know, the Toy Bag Guides are a seri series of books that are written by a variety of well-known BDSM educators, Jay Wiseman, Melina Williams, Lee Harrington. They're basically these short little pocketbook guides to a specific type of play. 
There is this one, which is for wax play. There are ones for everything from taboo kink to rope bondage to dungeon safety. Really great little books to have around, though the quality does depend on the author. And if you don't have any previous experience with wax play or any kind of temperature play, it is a good idea to have a guide like this. So I do appreciate that they included informational material like this in this box. All right, so it looks like we have at least a candle. Uh, this is like a red shibari candle is what I would call this. There's like these packs of like black, purple, and red candles you'll often see times sold at sex toy stores. I can kind of test with my fingernail to see how soft the wax is. That's one good thing. If you don't know a ton about wax, this is definitely not a foolproof method, but you can kind of use your fingernail and generally you want something that is soft enough to where you will be able to basically get little pieces of the wax out with your nail relatively easily. And usually when I do wax play scenes, I prefer to have more than one because especially with these sort of taper drip candles, sometimes you just stand in there and you're like, it's like drip, 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 and it's, it's very, very slow. So unless you have more than one, and maybe I'm missing one in this box, maybe I'm just totally, you know, talking on my butt here, but like, I usually like to have at least two so that way you can alternate them or it's just a more consistent sensation rather than just like the slow periodic drip of a single candle. And as usual, there is like candy and like little small like sample pieces of lube. Uh, usually the boxes will include little treats like that, condoms, those sorts of things. And they also do have a full size bottle of lube. This is the Wicked Aqua Chill. This is a water based cooling lubricant. I have used the Wicked brand before. I used the Wicked Aqua Gel, which is a thick water based lube. It's especially good for like anal sex or, or putting in butt plugs. I generally speaking steer away from heating and cooling lubricants because usually those are made using things like cinnamon extract or peppermint extract. And especially if you're doing things you know, anally where things can tear easily, <laughs> having a peppermint extract in your anal cavity when you've had an anal tear is not the best thing in the world and in general um, those sorts of things are not super great for your body so let's go ahead and see what the ingredients are on this it looks like there is ginger root extract which by the way figging gingering form of torture and bdsm so like don't know how i feel about that peppermint leaf extract okay that's pretty much what i expected it does also say if irritation or discomfort occurs discontinue use and consult a, a physician so i guess for my like personal risk profile i mean I, there's nothing against it like if you decide you want to use this as like a lube in your vagina or in your anal cavity or whatever like go for it it's up to you however i personally don't recommend putting things like ginger extract and peppermint extract and cinnamon oil up there because uh those are known irritants and it's really not great for your body to do that I would say this would be something that you could use externally instead, like maybe use it around like the vulva or on the nipples, or maybe it even has like a tingling sensation if you put it over the skin and you do like a spanking scene with it, or you do maybe something on the feet and you do something like bastinando. I, however, wouldn't be reluctant to use this internally, but I'm sure there are ways to use it externally, but I would probably not be using this as a lube for insertion. All right, so. It looks like we also have a Pocket Exotics Heated Whisper Bullet. And now I can't tell, is this the packaging? Okay, I was a little bit worried because it looked like it was dusty, but really it was just like the noodles were dusty. And I was like, is this a dirty toy? No, it's just the noodles. So this is a, a bullet vibrator that heats up, I guess. It's a, a self-heating micro bullet, which I actually have an insertable heating vibrator. I got one a while ago from Swacom, and I do really like that vibrator. I like these like mechanically heated toys more than the chemical toys because if you turn it off and take it out, the sensation is not going to linger for as long as if you were giving yourself, you know, a chemical burn or irritation from a plant extract. So this might be better for like the heating type of sensation. Obviously, I don't know how good this item is because of the fact uh, that I haven't used it before. It does say that it is made with body safe materials. It says that it's made of ABS with silver plating and that it is quote, whisper quiet and warms to a incredible 104 degrees. I don't really see a lot of like heated or especially cooling 
toys for insertion on the market. So, you know, it's a good option. Now, the thing that I have been kind of not wanting to pull out because it seemed the most special was like this little red box here. This seems like it's probably going to be a good thing. Fingers crossed. Ooh, okay. This is like a really nice presentation. So this is... So this is a glass dildo. It has like these extra colored ridges on it as well on this sort of bulbous head. I actually have quite a few glass dildos. I like using them. And the reason why they would have included these in a kit like this is glass dildos are really, really good for heating up and cooling. You can keep like a, a bucket or like a large glass of like cold and warm water and like dunk the uh, toy in it or warm it up before play or cool it down before play and use that for different types of sensation. However, you don't wanna like stick this in the freezer or like microwave it directly or something. That's not the best method in the world, but I think this totally makes sense in a temperature play kit and you don't have to use these internally if you don't want to. Again, you can use them around the outside of the body. You can run them over, you know, the lips. You can even put them on the back of the neck, the nipples, all over the place. It doesn't have to be used for just insertion. I think these sorts of toys in general make sense for a lot of people's play kits, even if you are not necessarily interested in penetration and it's not something you like, you could still find other ways to use this on your body if you found them interesting. All right, so let us see what else we have in the box. So it looks like the other thing that we have in here are some cards that say, the naughty list on them and it's like santa with this like cgi like girl wearing a like reindeer hood or something again it's like the thing at the very beginning of this i don't really think i would get any use out of this um i don't really have any friends that i would send this to this would be one of those things that i would give as like a gag gift to another friend but for like actually using it uh, I think I could use this in like a scene or something, but like not as a serious like card to like kinky friends because it would just be frankly kind of weird and not for me, but that is just my personal opinion. Maybe you're, you or your friends would find something like this funny, but it's not really to my personal taste. All right, and I think that is all that we have in today's box. I'm gonna go ahead and take another quick look through the handbook and see if we got everything. Uh, so we got a toy bag guide to hot wax and temperature play. That is probably my favorite thing that is in this box. I would definitely recommend that people read it and check it out. Uh, toy bag guides are great little books for all kinds of BDSM play. Uh, there is the fire and ice writer, which is a fun glass dildo you will have squirming all over in bed. You can use it with heat or cold play. Made of 100% medical grade silica, do not microwave or put glass items in the freezer as it can cause stress fractures in the glass. There is the Pocket Exotics Heated Whisper Bullet. The Pocket Exotics Heated Whisper Bullet is an intensely powerful micro stimulator, warms as it vibrates to an incredible 104 degrees. The ID Sensation Water-Based Warming Lube which is a desensation warming lubricant, warms on contact, latex safe, water-based, and non-staining, adult toy safe, and increases stimulation. Let me see if I can find that, because it looks like I don't, I don't think I actually got that in here. Or maybe I did and I just missed it. Oh, okay, so those are the little sample lubes that were in here. That's the ID Sensation Warming Lube. Let's just check what the ingredients are on that really, really quickly. Caffeine is like, the third ingredient <laughs> so of uh, the warming sensation is coming from the the caffeine which if you use it externally like there's actually caffeine extracts that people will put like under their eyes for like dark circles and that's supposed to stimulate uh, like the blood circulation to the surface which can be good ob for obvious sexual reasons that's interesting don't really know if i would use this internally myself i would probably try to use it externally with like a spinking scene or something like that uh, but yeah, that was the other item we got is they gave us, I think, three little like sample sh sachets of this warming lube. Then there is the Kid Essential Care Chill is a tingling blend of cooling extracts and high performance silicon designed to heighten sensitivity at your pleasure points. 
Thrilling sensations enhance natural lubrication, while the highest quality silicone adds moisture and glide. Intensely arousing and satisfying, never sticky, fragrance-free, glycerin-free, paraben-free, long-lasting, vegan, no animal byproducts or testing. It says there's also dirty wrapping paper and holiday cards. Kick off your holiday fun by getting those you love in the kinky spirit. Send them a card with all the naughty things you're going to do with them listed inside. You can also wrap all the dirty fun you got from them for them in this kinky wrapping paper included. Keep your holidays stress-free and kinky. All right, so those are all of the items that we got in today's box. I would say my favorites were definitely the book and then I also really appreciated the glass dildo. I don't really know how much I am going to personally get out of the other products simply because I do already have my own wax play candles. And as well, I don't really particularly enjoy putting that type of lube around my internal parts but again externally that may work out a little bit better for you the big question though is was it worth it now this box retails for 47 dollars and depending on the individual themes that change from month to month they will be worth either more than that or closer to that the box that we did last time the biggest issue is not so much with the individual items themselves because they all thought they were useful and how they tied into the theme. It was that I was just able to find those products so easily on like eBay or like Alibaba for like five or ten dollars that it ended up being like less than or really really close to the actual value of the crate itself so really i think what these crates do more so than giving you a bunch of like really fancy super expensive items that you would never be able to find anywhere else it's about curating a kit that you can use to introduce yourself to a new type of play or introduce that type of play to a partner get yourself things you would never personally pick out or don't even really know how to pick out if you are somebody who is already more experienced sexually if you've tried this sort of play before it's probably not really going to be for you you're probably already going to have things along these lines that you use for yourself but i do think this could be suitable for somebody who is a beginner and especially for people who don't have a partner to play with temperature play is one of those plays that does translate well to solo or self play but that is all just my personal opinion if you guys are interested in seeing more from kink crate if you're interested in seeing future reviews please let me know down in the comment section below i would love to hear from you all if you want more information about kink crate if you want to see the past reviews i've done for them links to that will be in the description box below if you want to see more from me the best way to do that is to subscribe i make videos twice a week around all things kink and sexuality and all of that good stuff and if you'd like to support my channel because you really enjoyed this video the best way to do that is over on patreon that is where i post all my exclusive content videos photo shoots all sorts of of interesting things like that so if you haven't checked that out already please do and until i see you guys next time hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week bye bye